Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and before we get started, let's get today's shout-out out of the way. Today's shout-out goes to Rotowain Erasmus. He was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout-out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and I have a review of a neat new drone, the Full Speed Tiny Leader Micro Brushless Micro uh, FPV Whoop. Um, it comes, I got the uh, basic version, the basic Free Sky version. Now, this comes in a uh, cardboard box, but don't throw away this box because on the front of this box there are support items here. These are QR codes that you can use with your phone to download the uh, quick start manual, firmware downloads, uh, f um, instructions in other words for this particular drone. So, and more information on the drone itself from the tiny or from the full speed website. So, again, don't throw away the box. These QR codes can come in handy. But what do we get inside the box here? Inside the box with the basic version, you get the drone. And that's it. You get the drone. Okay, no batteries come with this. Uh, again, this is not ready to fly, so don't expect a transmitter with this either. Uh, with that in mind, this uh, airplane or drone, a micro whoop, is intended more or less for intermediate and above flyers. Those who have already had some experience with uh, 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 micro FPV racers, because there is some setup issues that you're going to need to do with this, you know, like binding and, and setting switches and things like that. Uh, that uh, beginners really should not get involved with. Okay, in this at this particular stage, again, mainly meant for intermediate and above flyers. Now, it's an unusual design on this. If you look at this, uh, the front two motors are spaced further apart than the back two motors. I'm not sure why that is. It probably has something to do with the aerodynamics of the of the flight, but. Uh, it's you know different than what I've seen in other micro FPV uh, whoops, but again it is brushless. Let's go over the features of this particular drone. Um, it, it is a 2s to 3s battery drone. It has 8 amp ESCs in this, so it can withstand or use 2s and 3s batteries. Unfortunately, I don't have any 3s batteries that would be appropriate for this drone. Actually, that would fit inside this either. Although I could probably snip that off and throw a, a big 3S battery on that, but I don't want to degrade, show degraded flight performance. Because the, the smallest 3S batteries I got are around 800 milliamp hour. I haven't seen any small ones that would yet fit inside this, this controller. Now, I do have a lot of 2S that could fit in these. And in fact, I am going to be flying today 2S with this particular drone because I got tons of these 2S batteries that easily fit inside, that slide inside the uh, battery holder here. So that is why I'll be flying 2S today, folks, instead of 3S. So I, I apologize for those who out there that want to see, see me see this thing flying with 3S, but all, there are already some reviews out there with other flyers that did have 3S batteries, but they did not show this flying with 2S. So what you're going to see on the Quadcopter 101 channel is this flying in 2S. <laughs> okay, so that's why. Uh, let's go over the features. What do we got on board this thing? We have a nice camera on here. This is the Cadex Turbo micro f2 camera it's 1200 tv line so it should have good resolution it has a nice huge lens on the front of this thing so it should look good we'll find out when we fly it uh with that also it has a 25 to 600 milliwatt switchable fpv transmitter that you can switch using smart audio i like that uh it does have smart audio capability <laughs> i like that too um the flight control board um, on this is a full speed fsd uh, 4 uh, one uh, flight control board loaded up with beta flight 3.5.1 uh, that date on that is 1 November 18 so it's relatively recent uh, again I mentioned it has 8 amp ESC's to handle 2S and 3S batteries uh, the motors on this are 1103 11,000 kV motors so uh, they're, they're pretty good size for a whoop uh, they should give it lots of power but we'll find out I want to again I'm going to be flying mainly um, I want to go fly low and fast okay uh, very little, uh, uh, what do you call them, punch shots to do freestyle. And I, I like to fly low and fast. That's what we're going to be doing with that 2S battery. For those of you who want to do freestyling, that's when you go to 3S battery. And that should really make this thing shine if you want to do tumbling with the little whoop. Um, it comes available with PMP, uh, FreeSky D8, which means eight channels, okay, eight channel only. There's my Free Sky eight channel. So keep that in mind if you're having problems with bindings. Make sure you switch to D8 uh, eight channel. Uh, it's also available in Fly Sky and DSM uh, two and DSM X. So that is the drone. One more close up look up 
look at the drone before we take it out flying. So let's take this out into the field and see how it performs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Actually, I'm going to try to do two flights because i got two of these cheap generic batteries. So let's go for it. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with the Tiny Leader. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off uh, flying in line of sight mode uh, just to show it to you up close it flying around. See, see how it performs. And again, I got this uh, little cheap uh, 2S battery in here. We'll see how that performs too with the Tiny Leader. So uh, first things first, we need to turn on the transmitter and make sure all the switches are safe. Throttle down. Good to go there. And we'll plug in the Tiny Leader to bind it with the battery. I'm curious, actually, to see what type of flight time we can get with this 2S battery also. So, okay, I am uh, arming the motor. i got to set the angle mode first off. And arming the motor and taking to the air. And bringing it up. Okay, let's see what type of punch we can get with a cheap battery. Oh, not super punchy with a cheap battery. But again, that is a cheap battery. But can I get speed on this thing? Oh, yeah. You can get good speed, even with this cheap battery. Look at that thing move. <laughs> so, you know, even though this is not the best battery in the world to use, it still will provide us uh, the pitch and the flight control we need for, for a high-speed flight. Okay. See? See what I mean? That thing can move. <laughs> wow. It can really move, actually. This could be a lot of fun to fly line of sight, or uh, FPV, because... That little thing can move surprisingly well. Okay, how's it turning? A hard turn. Let's try that. It's doing fine, <laughs> even with this cheap battery. So you know, I am going to get better batteries for this because this one looks like it is has a lot of potential, folks. A tiny leader but again I don't recommend this for beginners because I had some issues with setting it up here uh, namely arming issues is what I had setting it up with this d8 in this d8 mode here uh, what did I have what was the problem I'm trying to remember here hold on <laughs> flying and trying to remember at the same time is very hard to do for for me I'm getting a little bit too old folks <laughs> but there it is here um, oh yeah, uh, the range, range limits was, was messed up here. It was like uh, out of the box with my T8SG, the range limits uh, were about 100 off. You know, uh, hot, it was like 1100 to 1900 minimum and maximum. I had to reset that down to 1000 to 2000. Adjust it a bit in the transmitter. It was, it was a transmitter issue, not, a, not the drone's fault. But again, you might you probably have the same issue though if you're a beginner and don't recognize that problem there, how to set range limits on your controller. But it's just flying a good long time. Let's send it down and let's try acro a bit. Line of sight acro. Let's bring it over here. See how it performs with line of sight acro. Actually, I think I got do I got it set up for air mode? Yeah, air mode. Let's try air mode actually. Might make it easier. Okay, yeah, I got a bit of a win here, so I'm fighting it. I, I better not do it. I'm just going to break it before I get into the acro, or before I get into the FPE flying, but I'm in acro right now, air mode acro, and I'm, I'm worried about breaking it <laughs> before the first flight. So maybe we'll hold off on doing flips and rolls until I'm in, uh, until I'm in FPV mode acro, you know. I'm not the best line of sight acro flyer, folks, in other words. But let's go back to angle flying. Nice little machine, though. Really. I hope the FPV is coming. Well, I'm not recording right now the FPV, so you can't see it. Here it comes. <laughs> I should have went after him, huh? Ah, never mind. I ain't going to do it. But there's a lot of them over there. Let's see if I can rile them up. Oh, they don't seem to care about it. Oh, there they go. <laughs> that bothered them.
This is flying a long time, folks, but I can't see what the voltage is, so I'm not going to bring it down to low, low voltage because I don't want to hurt the battery, and I'm not flying FPV right now. So we're going to land it right now, and then let's go right into the FPV flying. So hold on, folks. We'll go FPV. And, uh, let's show you one more time up close. Not a bad little drone at all. With a lot of acceleration, even with a cheap battery. I mean, this is... This is dirt cheap battery. These are very generic. And I'm, I know a lot of the my viewers out there, more experienced viewer flyers, are going to be uh, hammering me for flying it with this. But I wanted to see how it would do with this type of battery. And it did very well. So, hope you enjoyed the second part of the flight. Okay, we're going to fly Acro now. Uh, selecting arm, or selecting Acro, and arming the motors, and taking it there. So, hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I need to first get a feel for it. I'm flying it with a 2S. It feels a little bit wop or different than normal. But uh, let's see how we, what type of range we can get with it. Now this, these 2S PIDs, okay, let's see how they feel. It feels a little wobbly. See how it wobbles a bit there, folks? But do we do anything with this drone? Let's go up a bit higher and see if with a 2S battery if we can do a roll, yeah, no problem at all. Going to roll. Let me get a feel for this drone a little bit more. Let's try some speed. Now this is a cheap, cheap, cheap battery in this thing. Seems to be working okay, the battery. Uh, but again, the PID could use a little bit of tuning. I can tell that right now, especially for 2S. I hear that though that this has actually been tuned for 3S battery <laughs> flying. Again, I don't have any 3S batteries. Let's see how fast this thing can go. Let's Try to get some pitch on it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> when I got going real fast here, it got wobbly again. So yeah, pits out of the box need a little bit of tuning, or quite a bit of tuning, actually. Let's go up and then try that. <laughs> you know what, folks? I am going to air mode. See, if I'm going to do things like that, I'm, I'm going to try it in air mode. That's better. <laughs> now, air mode is great for doing rolls and flips and turns. Okay, let's try to get some speed over in air mode. How's it feel in air mode? Can I buy us again? Let's go around the, the block here like I normally do. Let's see how wobbly it is there. That's, again, in, because the pids are, need a little bit of work, or quite a bit of work, actually, <laughs> for 2S flying. Coming around. This cheap, cheap battery is working well on it, though. I gotta admit that. You know, look at look at the battery time we're getting with it. So this drone is uh, very what's the word efficient with this cheap battery. I'm kind of surprised to tell you the truth. Let's go up again. Going up again. I again this time I want to try it again. Is doing the end over end over end. Did I say that right? End over end. And it worked well there in air mode. So again, yeah, if you're going to be doing rolls and loops, air mode is works well. The geese are flying over here. They got scared of it. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? They went over here somewhere? Let's try to go around this far pool here. This is a pretty good distance out. It worked well. Okay, let's get some speed on it. So the tiny leader, um, this is relatively inexpensive for a brushless swoop, but again, needs a little bit of tuning there. But again, if this, if you have a 3S battery for this, I, what I've been hearing again folks from other folks that have this, is that this works well. The pids, current pids work well if you have 3S, but not, not so well with the 2S. Get some speed again. <laughs> going up again and then rolling it in air mode going up again and then rolling it again slow roll I like doing slow rolls and again air mode works well with a slow roll okay now the battery's starting to look a little weak but my goodness I'm over four minutes flight time I think it's over four minutes I have to check that Okay, the battery's starting to get a little low, 3.1 volt per cell. 
Yeah, this is two cell battery. Yeah, I better come in now. We're gonna come in now for the landing. Where is that bad? It's a Reiner somewhere. We're gonna call quits there. Okay, so thoughts on the tiny leader? Let me take the hat from my wife here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Needs uh, some PID tuning uh, for 2S flying. Uh, 3S again, I hear as well, but I need to get myself a 3S battery that uh, with XT30 connector with about a 300 milliamp per hour 3S. Those are hard to find for me. I, other folks have got plenty of them, but uh, I don't, unfortunately. But I got plenty of these 2S's and it seemed to work okay. So that's the Tiny Leader. Not a bad little drone. I hope uh, the video came out nice. We'll find out here shortly. But uh, this is Quadcopter 101 signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank <laughs> you.